Hey everyone, good news. Two good things have happened recently. One, the window that I was working on twice and failed has in fact been fixed and been put into its proper place. Also, as of today, we now have a new dryer because our old one was dying and we have been hanging clothes for much longer than really necessary. And if you're wondering what the grinding sound is in the background, that is Charlie chewing on his bone. And the little jingling sound is Bella playing with her toy. But anyway, while the guys were moving in our new dryer today, they had the door propped open. And after they left, Jill texted me and told me that she couldn't find Bella. Thinking that she had disappeared, possibly had run outside the house while the door had been open. And we were going to have to start what I was going to call an epic search. Now, keep in mind, we know Bella's basic hiding place is down in the basement and even up here in the main level of the house. And Jill also checked anywhere else she could possibly think of, under the stairs, in, in any little crevice she could find, no Bella. So, you know, Jill's freaking out, and I am too, of course, because even though I didn't used to be a cat person, I have fallen in love with the little feline, wherever she is right now. And uh, I was on my way home. I had already called um, one animal shelter to put in word that she was missing. And I was on the phone with another at the time, and Jill called and told me that Bella had been found. Now, before that, I had been talking to Jill, and she was, you know, upset, as was I, but, you know, I was trying my best to keep it together because I was just more panicked than anything because I don't want anything to happen to our little catchy. Now do we? Do we better catch you? No. No. <laughs> but anyway, she, it, she never got outside. I, I don't, uh, the door was open the entire time. She never went outside, which is a miracle. But, like I said, Jill looked everywhere in the house, so we have no idea where she was hiding. What we do know is that she was covered in cobwebs when she came out, you know, wherever she was. Jill had to clean that off of her. But she was just hiding somewhere in the basement. And despite the fact that Jill looked everywhere she could, she was nowhere to be found. So apparently our kitty either has the abil magical ability to turn invisible or, well, I don't know what else. But... Anyway, crisis averted, wonderful thing, and our family is still whole. Now, tomorrow I'm going to begin working for two days with the Cornerstone Project to help out with their conference, which takes place this Thursday and Friday. I'm going to be getting up very early tomorrow morning. I have to be there by 6. It's going to be fun. So. I get to go to bed early tonight and try and get some proper sleep so I'm not a complete zombie tomorrow while I'm trying to help. Also hoping to try and get a little bit of footage of the conference itself and, you know, maybe make somewhat of a commercial for Cornerstone, which would be really nice. I hope I can get something of quality. Of course, you know, I have a job to do while I'm there, so I can't, you know, split that fall aside. So. Whether or not that actually happens, I don't know, but it's going to be good to help out. And whether or not I am able to make that video, I am going to make... Well, if I do make that video, I'm going to include this information, but if I don't make that particular video, I'm going to make another one with information all about Cornerstone and all the good they do. If you want to check out Cornerstone, or the Minnesota Cornerstone, I have the address in the description for this video and should also have it um, in the video here if you have annotations turned on for your YouTube channel. So, time for dinner. Have a good bed. Everyone have a great night.
You are a little stinker. Yes, you are. You are a little stinker.